All right, today we're in Psalms. And let's see what David says about joy in Psalms 5, verse 11. He says, let all those who put their trust in you, of course, that's God, rejoice. Let all those who put their trust in you, Lord, rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy because you defend them. Okay, just knowing that God, Jehovah God, defends us, we should be shouting for joy. And what's the last part? Let them also who love your name be joyful in you. Wow. Loving his name, loving who he is. And in the Bible days, when someone had a name, it identified a character of who they were. And as we know God's name, then we know who he is. So Jehovah Shalom, he is the God of peace. And we've seen several times how joy and peace kind of get, keep getting put together and how he's our shepherd, how he is our righteousness. So as we love his name, we love who he is. There's a saying that says, it's hard to experience the simple joys when you're living with your hair on fire. Well, I know that sounds very silly, but basically it just means everything in your life is a crisis. You're just running everywhere like your head's on fire. Okay, imagine if that's how we live our life, then it's hard to rejoice because our trust is not in him. So our trust needs to be in him first and then we can rejoice, all right? And then we can shout for joy because we know he is the one who defends us. And I hope that we are always loving his name, loving who he is. He is our God. He is Adonai. He is our Lord, Master, Savior. And one, one quote that I really love, and it says, joy is the happiness that doesn't depend on what happens. And you know what? That's the promise that we have. We talked last time about his joy living in us and remaining in us. And that's what happens when we love his name, when we trust in him, and we will let him be our defender. So this week, as we're going the second mile, let's stop depending on ourselves. Let's trust in him and let's love his name.